Fame pedigree. He has the name and the game. Frank DiMaggio Jr. is an Archbishop Carroll Sr., a shortstop. His cousin, Joe DiMaggio, is the legendary New York Yankee Hall of Famer, the Yankee Clipper. 18-year-old Frank, the Carroll Clipper, will play second base at Northwestern next year. With the name DiMaggio, it just seems like it's always better. Everybody's always watching you. If your name is Jones or, or Smith or something, then you might, be, you might have, have a really good game, but uh, they might forget about it. But if your name's DiMaggio and you have a good game, it seems like it might stick in somebody's mind a little bit longer. Frank is hitting over 500, and he went into the season as a high school All-American. He's a guy I want uh, uh, up there when the game's on the line, and, and I always judge a part of his character is, does he want to hit when we have to have a run? and Or when there's two outs and the game's on the line, and he loves it. Opponents probably, um, you know, would try to strike me out uh, maybe harder than somebody else, or throw different pitches so they could say they could, you know, struck out, you know, Joe DiMaggio's relative. Or, so they, they probably get up the games, you know, even more than I do, you know, playing against me. Frank comes from an athletic family. His father, Frank Sr., played quarterback at Temple before a pro career in Canada and with the World League, Philadelphia Bell. But Frank Jr. chose baseball. All my life I've been a Yankee fan. That's uh, my favorite team. My dream would be to, to play at Yankee Stadium. And what number would you want to wear? Uh, probably five. It's retired. Yeah, I know. Uh, I hope maybe they'll bring out a retirement for you. I don't know. Frank is a player who literally brings the game home to him. Show me your stuff, all right? He has his own batting cage right in his backyard. It helps me, but I also love to do it. It's, it's not uh, like work or something that uh, I feel I have to do every day. It's just something I, I love to do every day. You do it every day. You take advantage of it. You're in that cage. Yeah, every day the, uh, the weather's good. I'm in there. By the way, what's your favorite song? Um, I'd probably have to say uh, Mrs. Robinson. Down the road. Wouldn't it be interesting to see if Frank DiMaggio realizes that dream? Number five for the Yankees? Could it be? Bill Curry, Sports Sunday, the 10 o'clock news. Frank, you may become a better athlete than your dad, but I doubt, in fact, I know you won't make people laugh like he did with the Philadelphia Bell because I know and I was there. Pal. We were there at the final day of the Eagles' set. 5,000 showed up, and we'll ask them why. He's not quite Joe DiMaggio just yet, but the Carroll Clippers doing just fine. This is Mike Gardas at Archbishop Carroll High School, and we'll have the story coming up next in sports. Well, if family ties and genes mean anything, and apparently they do, then this DiMaggio could be on his way to the majors before too long. Mike Dardis has the story of an Archbishop Carroll star who's doing what it takes to keep pace with his famous name. He's got plenty to live up to if he wants to be like Cousin Joe, but the Carroll Clipper, Frank DiMaggio Jr., is one way to stardom despite all the extra attention. Yeah, all right! Nice point! It's a lot of pressure. You know, when you go out in the field, it seems like you got to perform all the time because you're related to Joe DiMaggio. And, uh, you know, but sometimes it's good because then, like, if you do something good, then it really gets played up. And there's been plenty to play up so far. Archbishop Carroll's smooth-swinging shortstop is racking up the accolades. He's been first-team All-Catholic for the past two seasons, and this year he's batting over 500. It's easy to see how schools like Ohio State, Maryland, and Indiana have been lining up to get him, but Frankie D is heading to Northwestern, a place where he can hit the books just as hard as he hits the baseball. It just seemed like North, you know, Northwestern being a real good academic school, 14th rank academic school, and um, their baseball team playing in the Big Ten, the coaches were really great. Somewhere down the line, this all ends. You know, the little kid game ends, and you have to go into your life's work. And it only takes one throw, one slide, and, and, and you're off doing what you have to do. Frank DiMaggio is a complete ball player because the hard work doesn't stop here in the practice field. He brings it home with him, where the second wave of training begins. That's a good one. It's early evening in Westchester. Frank Jr. joins Frank Sr. in the family's backyard batting cage. Frank's dad is no stranger to the Philly sports scene. He played quarterback in his day at Temple, even got some pro experience in the World Football League. But these days, he tackles a new challenge, finding the proper mix between coaching and parenting. When I first had my kids, you know, um, I might have been a little more intense. 
But as time has gone on, I've matured as they've matured, and I, I've, I've learned to try to back off a little bit and try, try to let them do their own thing. So far, that strategy has worked. But as Frank's dad will tell you, his son deserves all of the credit. I think a lot of the things that he's accomplished w with sports, um, he's worked hard to achieve. And, you know, my wife and I are both very proud of him and, and, and are proud of some of the things that he's, that he's done. And now Frank Jr. hopes he can give his parents even more to be proud of. In Westchester, this is Mike Dardis in Choir News Tonight. Well, a day after the Eagles draft.